All right, my friends, we are back. I thought last video was gonna be my last one, but hey, we got another one. We had someone uh, mention in the comments on one of my other videos, they wanted some team comps. So I came up with a list of some different team comps. I went with an all blue team, all red team, all green, all light, all dark. You can pretty much just kind of interchange these however you want. I'm definitely big disclaimer though that all blues, all reds, and all greens, doing a team with those three main factions, I would not personally recommend it for mid to end game. You get get away with it as a new player, but really uh, it's not gonna help out too, too much. You're really gonna have to focus mostly on those light and darks for that more difficult content later on. We also got a brand new coupon code. So let's go over our new coupon code first team this dev team they have been giving us like brand new coupon codes what feels like almost every other day or every day so shout out to the developers or the community manager or whoever is coming up with this because let me tell you we get so many freebies in this game and i feel like this is how a lot of mobile games should be doing it by giving us coupon codes all the time it's going to be hoc dc 8k and that is for getting 8,000 followers in the discord and it says once we get 10,000 followers we'll get another code so let's go ahead and claim this and we get 10 premium summoning scrolls all right so let's jump into my list that i have came up with and like i said you can just kind of interchange these however you want for our all blue team we have the celestial spear this is pretty much a guaranteed one that you need and you can use this forever this is one of the better characters from those three main factions for our tank we'd go with shield of partha for a really amazing mage we got the baby shark baby shark is another one that's pretty viable um for like the mid game but end game kind of falls off for another damage dealing ranger we got the howling wind and for an alternate let's say you don't want to go with the howling wind and you need an assassin you could go with the might of partha as your assassin instead so those two are kind of interchangeable and then for our healer we would go with daughter of sea all red team this would be i believe it's called like ignis first one's going to be the scarlet velvet an amazing mage our tank is going to be the blazing heart he's going to allow all of our characters on our team to get life steal you can pretty much use him in a bunch of different combinations you don't need to use all the reds or all the blues in a row you can kind of interchange some of these and for our assassin we'd go with the dragon princess for another mage we got the eternal flame for our all green team first one we got is going to be lord of time this is an amazing healer and this is one that you can use for mid to end game However, there is going to be a better option for your healer, which I'm going to mention once we get to the light and darks. But Lord of Time is someone you can use for quite a while. Uh, for one of our big damage dealers from green, Tempest Dragon. For our three spot, we got an assassin, the Rose Princess. I would personally say probably the best assassin from those three main factions, the red, the blue, and the green. For our four spot, we got our tank warrior. This is going to be the Master Dragon. And then our final fifth spot we got is the Forest Guardian this is another one that's good for early to mid game but definitely falls off when you get to that more difficult content let's move on to the lights and the dark starting with just the lights now this is pretty much what everyone is interested in now the most obvious thing like i've said before in my videos is if you have any of these special characters um, that are light these ones are always the best the ones that have these alternative titles underneath that belong to like another faction so like anything that says heyday underneath of it um apocalypse heaven god air these ones are all by far better than just the regular lights or darks that do not have that extra title however i'm gonna take it a little step further and i'll give you some personal recommendations so for our heyday the ancient empress this is arguably the best damage dealing mage in the game only problem is if you do go ahead and get her from let's say one of your selection chests or something it can be pretty difficult to get another copy of her that is the big downside to those ones with that special title compared to the regular lights or darks the regular lights and darks are pretty hard to get already um, but you can kind of get them to like a nine star a ten star um, because the game has been pretty generous with all of the events as long as you're keeping up and playing it's going to be very difficult for you to get multiple copies of these special characters now they are still really strong at five stars however it gets to a point where when you have a, a, a regular light that's like a 10 star 
it definitely outpaces the God Airs or the Heydays or something when it's only a five star. Uh, I will say though that if you can get a second copy of one of these and you can get one of these like Heydays or um, Heavens or whatever to like seven or eight stars, then those are by far going to be way better than a regular 10 star later dark. So the biggest problem you're gonna face is just trying to get two copies of these. If you can get two copies of any of those like special lights or darks, you should use those ones over any of the other ones that I'm saying. Specifically, Ancient Empress would be an amazing mage. This is one that I highly recommend you look out for and try and get. As far as our regular lights, the Elementalist is an amazing character and you can use her pretty much forever. For our warrior tank, we're gonna go with Valkyrie. Next we got is our assassin. That's gonna be the Monkey King, amazing assassin. For a healer or support, we have the Super Twins. And then for a really strong ranger, we have the Double Faced Tiger. Moving along to the darks, going over the same thing with all of the special heydays and Nimbuses. These ones are by far the best ones to choose as opposed to the regular darks. Specifically, one of these God Airs, the Dark Knight. This is an amazing warrior, one that I definitely highly recommend you pick up. Pretty easy to get a couple copies of her. This is a character that you can pretty much use for your entire playthrough of this game. A really good damage dealing mage is Night Eater. I would personally choose the Apocalypse Lotus Dance Mage over her. I think this is just a way better damage dealing mage. So if you do have the ability to get like two copies of the Lotus Dance, he is absolutely amazing. As far as one of the best healers, that's gonna be the Rainbow Feather from the Heyday. Absolutely an insane, insane healer support. One that I highly recommend if you are able to get her, this is the one that I would look out for. As far as the regular darks go, for our damage dealing mage, you got the Adjudicator, who's really good at putting the curse and crowd control effects. For our warrior, we got the Malicious Puppet. For our third slot, we got the Sinister Dragoon. That's a ranger, specializes in putting out true damage, which is really helpful. Start going up against enemies that are at that high level, like those 300 levels and they have really high defense and then for our fourth slot we have an assassin that's going to be erlang specializes in pretty much stealing buffs from the enemies and converting them into positive effects for himself this is someone who's going to be a little bit situational you can pretty much use them for all the content but you're going to see a lot more success when going up against certain enemies but still one that i highly recommend building out as far as the healers for the regular darks i would say stay away because i think all of the healers or just the regular darks are really not good. That is it. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video. Stay happy, stay safe. I'll see y'all later. Peace. I don't